Hi, greetings and welcome fellow YouTubers out there. Today we are going to have a look at transference, uh, evasion, lunar stone and also there is a firewall giveaway competition at the end of the video. So stay tuned for all of that coming up on this week's weekly updates. Okay, first off, as normal, the apologies. Sorry that we didn't manage to do a weekly update last week, but uh, we have been incredibly busy over the past two weeks. We've had a lot of events, a lot of things that are going on. Well, not really so much events, uh, but uh, we've managed to pass the uh, 200 subscriber mark. Yay! Thanks very much, guys, for uh, for helping me make that, um, for helping us make that uh, that milestone, and uh, I'm really appreciative, really uh, thankful. Uh, and to show my thanks, um, we were going to do a uh, a little bit of a competition giveaway. Well, I wouldn't say competition, more of a challenge, but I'll get into more of that at the end of the uh, at the end of the video. But also. Outside of that today, as I said, we have um, we had a few other things that we uh, did. We had a look into uh, the game Transference, uh, Lunar Stone, and also Evasion. Okay, first up, Transference. Now, what did I think of this game? This game is a uh, one, one, one of these walking simulator style games, and as a walking simulator, it is very story driven. There isn't much frets or uh, elements of risk in here except for the whole jump scare factor that you get at the beginning and I'm not going to go into too much of it um, too much details because I don't really want to uh, spoil anything for you guys who haven't played out played it out yet um, but in saying that I'm going to go into quite a fair amount of stuff but hopefully without spoilers this game is basically looking looking into the psychology of a guy that's being uh, a, bro a broken guy that is going through a divorce uh, and you see his inner demons emerging as his entire world is crumbling away before he, before his eyes uh, the whole point or, or the whole prospect point of view of this game is set with inside his own mind and his own own psychology as his mental bar barriers are breaking down and being destroyed one after another after another uh, and you can see the surrounding environment being his mental state as it is finally fading away uh, and as I said earlier as the demons come out now this game as I said, for these walking simulator games, it is very story driven, and I give it top marks for the amount for the amount of story that you that you got with this. It was really quite involving. I mean, you don't. I mean, if you just went straight, did a straightforward playthrough, you probably will miss out half the story. What you get is by turning over all the little bits and pieces that you find all over the place to reveal another part of himself, another part of his thought processes. Uh, the fact is, what's going on over in there, it all adds together to bring out the entire, get to flush out the entire gameplay in itself. In saying that, there isn't too much in the way of gameplay elements uh, to go through, except for trying to solve the puzzles. Um, I mean, there was like one or two puzzles where it's more of guesswork really than actually uh, the natural puzzle solving uh, much in the same way that um, Torn uh, was basically just going from room to room solving out the puzzles in each room this game itself here also has its not go not a puzzle per room or a puzzle dedicated to each room the puzzles were emergent as the game progresses I mean you'll find that you'll go into an area you need all right you see all like these stickers and uh, 
and items and objects and you make a little mental note and then when you go through play through to the other areas you think ah I need that robot that I saw, uh, that robot that I saw in the kids room right place right here and that will fix that problem and then as you stick together these pieces you the next part of the story unveils itself to you and allows you to move move forward the atmosphere in here it's very creepy it is it, it really kind of tries to shock your uh, shock your system uh, with the amount of um, the type of music, the squeakies, uh, the the growling sounds of impenetrable of incoming doom, and the demons are closing in on you, you really get that claustrophobic feeling that something's out there that's trying to get to you, and there is nowhere to run. So uh, the horror level on this level, on this game is actually spot on. They really did make that sense uh, sense of foreboding really hit home in this game. And for that sense, it works. Um, the game itself is kind of expensive for the amount of gameplay that you get out of it. The actual game time comes to approximately about two hours, uh, two hours worth. Uh, and once you've played it through once, there's not much in the way of replayability. Because once you knew where all the jump scares were, there's no real element of threat after that. So there's no real, um, there, as I said, there's no real replayability into this game. And you only get two hours of gameplay for the price that it is. Uh, and I think I got this for like about £20. Uh, so, therefore, it's up to you really if you kind of want it for the storyline. Like I said, the storyline is great, but short. Not much gameplay, but puzzle solving elements. And it will design to scare you as much as it possibly can. Not the scariest game out there. I mean, I probably had a little bit more fun with Resident Evil 7 than I would have with this game. Um, should you buy it? If you're into horror games and you don't mind the uh, the shortness of this game, then yes, you would you would want to go for it because it is really good value for its money. However, in saying that, again, I would still wait for the sales because you don't uh, want because once it's done, it's gone and it is kind of expensive for what it is at the moment. So wait for the price to come down a little bit and then. I'd say roundabout just after Halloween has, fi uh, has finished out, then go try and, uh, try and get, get it once the price has gone down for a bit. Okay, next up we have Luna Stone. Now, I really didn't know that this game even existed. Uh, it totally flew me by, and I only just came across it when I was looking up all the old games that are on the, on the PlayStation Store. In fact, this is a VR game that's not even in the VR title section, uh, and it is quite an old game as well. No one, uh, as far as I'm aware, I haven't seen anyone really pay too much attention to this game. It is a very cheap indie uh, indie style game, but that being said, you get what you pay for with this game. When I first started it, I thought, well, oh, I like a, a fiver, I think something like that, just less than a fiver, and I thought, okay, let's give it a shot. Then when you uh, start it up, the first season, uh, season um, I'm introduced to some beautiful music. And as the environment opened up in front of me, it was really kind of nice. I, I actually like the way that the fire started burning the pictures into the walls. And you got that sort of sense of... Um, or something mysterious and special that's going on, something of magic and wonder, and then it all stops. <laughs> that is the highlight of the entire game. Okay, given this game it's due, it does have some good graphics in some of the uh, some of the boss fights, but it is a very short game, and I I think this game is quite poorly designed really poorly designed I mean 
basically just went from like one level to the next level to the next and it was completed in about 20 minutes and you could probably speed run this in less time than that uh, this game and the voice acting was so awful I couldn't really tell if they was trying to make the way they pronounce things like weapons. It's weapon. Oh, I'm off to go and get my weapons. Is that supposed to be you're trying an accent and mispronouncing weapons wrong? Or do you just seriously expect us to believe that you pronounce weapons as weapons? Weapons or whatever. Uh, no, the voice acting was really off. It was really poor, and and like I said, the whole whole plot, the story, everything was just going from one to the other to the other without any any continuity in it or any sort of linear progression. It just seems they tried to make it a wave shooter, but even on like the easy modes you can't really shoot out all the things until they get at least get like two or three hits on you uh, but even then in easy mode that you are practically an immortal as well so you don't really die i haven't been out i haven't died on it yet but then again i've only played it on in, on easy mode but that's me uh yeah this game i recommend avoiding because it the, the only good thing that was going for this uh, this game is the music. If anything, I could swear that this game was made solely to promote the music that was in the game. Uh, I mean, because it was it was a real good heavy metal sort of uh, sort of level, and uh, the music itself was really quite enjoyable. Unfortunately, that was the one thing that got me into trouble with YouTube. Because after I was uh, streaming the game, I just got uh, copyright claim after copyright claim from YouTube saying, "Oh, sorry, you've got about like 20 different songs in here that uh, that we can't allow you to uh, broadcast or, or um, no, no, we can't allow you to uh, download or anything because people were making claims on it." And I thought, "Hmm, okay, then fine." So I ended up going on uh, replaying it on Twitch just to get the video footage that you see down there because I couldn't download it from YouTube. So that was a bit of a shame. Uh, yeah, avoid this game uh, unless you really, really want to. But this game is just not worth it at the moment. I'd say recommend avoiding for the moment. Last game on the list, Evasion. Ah, now when I started playing this, I got like person after person after person saying, "What do you think of Evasion?" And I was saying, "Well, I think um, I've just started playing it. Uh, from the f entire 20, 30 seconds of actual gameplay footage, I see that it's um, bright. It's got colours. I shoot things with it." <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was just funny. That just, just as soon as I started broadcasting, I had people like saying, "How, how, what do you think of this game?" But um, yeah, it was actually, hmm. Honestly, what do I think of this game? It is very mixed. Now, I'm the one. I'm one of the type of guys that loves first-person shooters. You give me a first first-person shooter, and I'm a happy bunny. And I wasn't too happy with this game. Yes, it is a good it is a good FPS uh, shooter. It works well with the aim cannon, so with with the aim gun um, or the aim controller. Uh, you can choose from three or four four different types of characters, but the only one that was ever of any real use was the assault rifle, uh, the assault um, class. Now, the reason I say that uh, is because of the way it handles the fire mechanisms. This game has got three downsides from, uh, for me on this. First, first downside, and I'm sure one downside a lot of people will agree, is that we don't like keep pulling the trigger when we're trying to fire. I mean, it was like, uh, keep on rapidly firing, and at the end of the day, you've got like finger cramping after half an hour, constantly trying to pull that trigger. Uh, when, in other first person shooters, when you're using a full auto or semi auto, well, 
not throwing it off, when you're using a full auto weapon, you just hold the trigger down and it fires uh, a constant stream of bullets. That's what we want. We don't want to uh, hold down the trigger and it piles up a burst weapon or a secondary weapon. Uh, so the only way you can fire the main weapon is just to keep flapping your fingers backwards and forwards and, uh, and then suffer from muscle cramp within about 20 seconds or so. Uh, so that was a big problem. And that's why I said that the Salt class was the only class that's really worth anything. Because with all the other classes, when you held the trigger down, it powered up a special secondary weapon, which was like a grenade launcher or, uh, or well, well, grenade launcher. They all, they all seem to have different types of uh, how, how they wanted a powerful second weapon that did exactly the same thing. But the assault weapon, uh, it's secondary fire or uh, when you held the when you hold the trigger down it basically shot out a continuous stream that damaged enemies at a lower pace but it targeted them for um, uh, for homing missiles so that when you release the trigger again a whole swarm of um, homing missiles will then start going and uh, bombarding them well release and trigger again. As I said, that was the uh, the first and main annoying thing about evasion. Number two, the story was bland. It was linear and bland. You basically went to one area, you got this like distress beacon and say, oh, come save us. Okay, go to the next area, fight all the big bosses. There'll be a massive big boss. You'll get a message from the mining team saying, help, come save us. You go to the next area, you fight all the big bosses. You fight the main big boss. Uh, then you get a message saying, help, come save us. You go to the next area. The boss from the previous boss becomes like a, a common enemy in this level. And you get more people and you get a bigger boss. And then you get the people say, help, come save us. And I thought, oh, or give the broken record a change, will ya? Fix it. Uh, no, it was just too linear and was boring at that point. Uh, and that's kind of why I had to stop because it was just like wave shooters. Well, it's not a wave shooter. I mean, you go into area and then bosses. Uh, yeah, basically just what I said. You know, there was no mix-up. There was a slight change in the environment. In fact, some of the environments I had to go through twice in different maps, backwards. And yeah, so what's up with that? that so that, that was my, 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 my nitpick on the story. And the third problem that I have, that I seem to be having with quite a lot of VR, and that is stop trying to comfort us we want to move we want to be it, it, look at doom look at doom with uh, doom for um vfr when you were like running around you were running around they didn't give uh, they, they didn't care that uh, you was going around at top notch and you could violently sick from motion so motion sickness you are a hard ass badass trying to kill the bad guys uh, so you didn't worry about little little things like motion sickness you just went straight in there full throttle jumping around bouncing around running like mad but in but here in Evasion, you're another elderly woman in a Zimmer frame trying to outrace us now to lunchtime. <sighs> Come on, please. Stop trying to make us feel comforted by slowing us up. We don't want slow. We want speed, which is why some of the greatest games on VR, on VR at the moment are things like, oh, uh, Wipeout. Um, and what was that, that other one where a sprint vector, that, that they got like top marks. And it's because people were going fast. We want to experience speed when we're playing these games and not just slowly hobbling along. So please stop trying to comfort us or at least give us a fast option in the, in the comfort setting so that we can go the, as fast as we need. <sighs> Sorry, another rant, done, sorted, ouch. <sighs> okay, but is it a good game? Yes, it is a good game. 
um, and a game I actually did kind of like. I was, although this is very expensive on the vi on the uh, on the market at the moment. I think it was something like thirty two odd pounds again. Um, it is, it's no far point, uh, and it's no Resident Evil Seven either when it comes to our enemies. It, and in general, it's kind of boring, but it's what we've got at the moment, and it's what we've got to enjoy. It seems a little bit off key at the moment. If you if you're put off by the price tag, don't worry about this game. Um, I don't say avoid it at all costs because I I actually seriously, despite all my rantings in this, uh, I actually seriously did enjoy it. Uh, now people were telling me that the uh, the game really comes alive when you get into the cooperative plays when you start playing with other players and um, I would have liked to have experienced that but that's a problem with online gameplay is you can pro most of the time hardly ever find other people to play with as you can see down here whenever I tried going uh, going on to multiplayer it was an empty room, so I was just look, looking at uh, yes, empty room after empty room, and thought, okay, whatever. Well, there's no one out there. How the heck am I going to experience multiplayer? But um, yeah, I mean, give it some time. Maybe the multiplayer will come up. And if I did give, uh, if I did try it again, and I found that the multiplayer is actually any good, because people are telling me that it's good, it might possibly be uh, a good game. Um, and be honest, I think I can understand why it will be a good game. Uh, because to have people covering your back uh, whilst you are inundated with swarms of enemies and uh, and such, where you've got like a tank and you've got a healer and you've got an assault person, uh, all working together to overcome the enemies, that's a good game. Uh, and like I said, I can really appreciate that. I really can understand why people would uh, would really enjoy that. But for the solo play version experience that I only experience, um, I have no desire to go back to that at the moment. It just felt really too bland and boring just for the solo play experience. Okay. Final up. 200 subs. Yay. Now, some time ago, I gave out uh, a little challenge to you guys a sort of race uh, and this race is between you guys uh, and me and what this race was is say if you I was currently creating an animation for when I got the uh, 200 sub which is probably what I'm playing down here in the in the corner at the moment um, I was creating this animation for when I get 200 subs, but it was going to take me ages to actually make it because making these animations do take a very, very long time. And uh, so I sent out a challenge to you guys and say, if you guys can get me 200 subs before I finish creating that, then, well, then I will do a giveaway competition for you guys. And what would what was very um, high on the mark out there at the moment is uh, Firewall. So the competition giveaway would have been for Firewall. Now I got up to the point where I had finished the animation. I made the animation. I was at one hundred and ninety nine subs. 199 subs there uh, and I was uploading it uh, uploading the animation to YouTube and when it got to about something like 87 <laughs> percent I heard that counter ding to say that I got my 200 subs and then say ah ding for the 201 um, I think we're on like 208 now at the moment I thought ah well Let's call that a draw, shall we? Because I had created it and I am uploading it just as I got to the ding for the 200, uh, 200 subs. So, so okay, here's uh, the competition. Well, like I said, it's not going to be a competition, more of a challenge. And the challenge is 
the first person to email me my special logo that I've created, a picture of my special logo that I've created, uh, will win the um, uh, will win the uh, Fallout. Sorry, not Fallout. <laughs> I wish uh, will win the uh, the firewall code which I bought the other day for this competition. Now this logo is actually located in um, in VR at the moment and you guys need to go and find it. Now I've made it so that anyone can go in there whether if you're VR or if you're non-VR uh, and you don't have to pay to see to get into this either. It is basically in rec room. Yeah <laughs> basically in rec room I have created under Max PSVR a room uh, where I have hidden Max PSVR and a sort of like Pete Symbol logo. Now the first person to uh, take a picture of that and e email it to me at maxpsvr at outlook.com will win and I will announce the winner when I get one. <laughs> if, any, if anyone's actually watching this and if anyone actually uh, uh, submits an entry and in fact I will even tip um, I will, I will even put it up next week uh, a list of all the people who have entered and I'll, uh, and I'll actually show the person that was right at the top from my email queue to see who got that <laughs> so the race is on guys get your VR headsets on get into rec room find my max PSVR challenge room and see if you can find the um, uh, find the logo but be warned in the challenge room, I have also put down a couple of guns for you guys to play around with as well. Honestly, when making when making the room, it, I, it was kind of kind of simple. I did really want to try and create a really hazardous type of room for you guys uh, with spawn points and relocations and uh, uh, all-out battle royale uh, battle royale. But unfortunately, it didn't quite work and. Uh, yeah, it's just plain and boring, but um, maybe I'll do that for the next challenge that I would do, because I really thought, when, when I was looking into this, I saw there was like circuits and controllers and uh, gates and variables that you can change and alter and to, uh, to interact with the environment, and I think that would be quite good to make a room like, uh, a really decent challenge room for people to play around with in but at the moment this room hasn't got anything in there unfortunately unfortunately as I said it is just uh, a room and I've left a couple of guns on the tables for people to play around with but I also left my logo for one of you to find so have fun with that room uh, and in the meantime I'll try and see if I can create something a little bit better for next time oh <clears throat> And one, one other rule, one other rule that I forgot to mention, you must be su subscribed to this channel to win. <laughs> That's the final final rule. I should have said that's the first rule, main, main rule. But yeah, you need to be subscribed to the channel for it to be a valid entry. If you're not subscribed, and I will know, then I'll have to go on to the next person. So... Subscribe to the channel <laughs> and then get your pictures, uh, get your, get your pictures. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you need any, well, help, ask each other, because this is a challenge for you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed creating this. Please, as I say, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys out there. Links in the description. <laughs>